Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to GT Guild Gaming. Hope everybody's doing good. And, uh, yeah, this is my second video today. <laughs> um, so, this is actually going to be just for fun. This is uh, part of the uh, series that I like to call Legendary Cover Battles, where I take uh, a comic book that had a specific cover or battle that happened within it. And if you've seen the other previous ones, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, hey, that's okay. This is quite all right. You can continue to watch. But please go back and watch the others. So, uh, we are now doing The Amazing Spider-Man. And we have the Vulture here. He is the actually the first supervillain that uh, Spider-Man went up against. He has uh, the the uh, Striker ability. Striker means he gets plus one attack for each Master Strike. Always leads Vulture attack, and I also have the Scavengers. They represent the people that uh, basically representing the many different times that uh, um, that um, Vulture is trying to do his scheme. We'll get that here in a minute. His master strike is you put a wound from the wound stack below eight, each HQ space as a winged assault. Whenever a player gains a uh, gains or KOs a hero from the HQ, the player on their right gains the wound below the HQ space. And the scheme is Midtown Bank Robbery. A twist, 12 bystanders in the villain deck, special rules. Each player, each villain gets plus one attack for each bystander it has when a twist happens. Any villain in the bank, if there's any, any villain in the bank captures two bystanders, then play the top card of the villain deck. Evil wins when eight bystanders are carried away by escaping villains. So, uh, he ha again, like I said, he's got his tech. He's got the scavengers. The henchmen are actually the cops. They are thinking Spidey is behind it. So uh, if they capture any bystanders, that means they're actually part of Vulture's gang. Um, sidekicks are just standard sidekicks. And the new recruits here are, uh, these are going to represent Spider-Man taunting his, taunting the villains and even the cops. Uh, <laughs> If you know about Spider-Man, he likes to do those sarcastic quips. And also, the only way I can get the new recruits is by defeating the cops. I've taken out... no. There's no special officers in this uh, at all. A cars that cost uh, more than two are banned, so to speak, from this game. It's specifically, specifically two or less because all the Spidey cards are two or less. So... I have the original Amazing Spider-Man from the core set. I have Peter Parker Spider-Man from Civil War, Peter Parker Homecoming, Spider-Man Neuer, and High Tech Spider-Man. So, different variations of Spider-Man coming in, as you can see. Some have wall crawls, some do not. So again, this is just for fun. I'm not doing any of this for a league or a tournament or anything. This is just for fun. Oh wow, look at that. Six recruit. So let's go ahead and get round one started and fight. So we have the shocker. Ambush. Each player reveals their hand and discards all cards with the same name as the card in the HQ. I don't have to worry about that. Because I'm just starting this game. So, don't have to worry about that. But, let's go ahead and get some, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do, uh, we'll do wall crawl, play attack, choose two villains adjacent in the adjacent city spaces. Each of them get minus two, minus one this turn. Oh, there is, that's the rare for Civil War Spider-Man. 
Reluctant Celebrity, Pierre Parker. Uh, play Instinct before this, and you get plus one attack for each um, extra card you draw on this turn. That's going to be great. I think I'll go ahead and get this. And then, since I already got attack on this side, let's go ahead and get this. It's Wall Crawl and Danger Sense 3. Alright. Which means I'm going to have some great attack coming up this next turn. Alright, turn two. Scheme Twist. Alright, there is no villains in the bank, but I still have to play another card from the villain deck. It is the cops. Alright. Alright, three attack, three recruit. Let's go ahead and hit the cops. We'll gain a new recruit. And then with the three recruit, let's go ahead and get, um, we'll go ahead and get this for two, uh, Web of Darkness, Spider-Man Neuer. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have... Chitauri, wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vulture Tech, Chitauri Weapon Assault. Striker, no striker. Striker, no striker! Uh, fight, KO one of your heroes with a uh, recruit icon. Escape, each player discards a card with a recruit icon. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and I have one recruit so far. That's Danger Sense 3. So Danger Sense means I look at the top number of cards of the villain deck. I get plus my attack for each villain there. So there's one, two. Then I can put them back in any order, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to put the bystander up on top. We'll put shocker number one and then shocker number two. And let's see, choose two adjacent villains in safe spaces. I choose you two. This goes down to four. He goes down to three. So two, four, five, six, seven attack. Hey, uh, that's how much I have. So let's fight him. First one is Shocker. No fight a fat. Then the Chitauri weapon. Fight. KO one of your heroes with a star icon. We'll KO the one and only agent. All right. And we'll shuffle. Five, six. All right, moving on. Banker goes to the vulture here. Because there's nobody in the city at all. Five recruit. One attack. I need to adjust that camera. Just a little bit. Sorry if that makes anybody dizzy. Trying to... Uh, we're gonna do this camera sometimes can be a little pain because what I'm seeing is um, the little fish eye look. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some recruit going here. Um, we'll spend two on this guy. And then 
Let's see here. I have two more. Um, let's go ahead and do web shooters. There we go. The nice thing about the Spidey decks really is that they all work together very, very well. Four, five, six. Next up, A hey, is the Shocker again, number one. Uh, striker and his escape effect is if he escapes, each player reveals an instinct hero or discards a card. Right now he's just three attack. One, two, three, four, well, three attack, no problem. We'll take out Shocker. What a Shocker, right? Um, let's go ahead and wall crawl this instinct card. It gives me, if I play instinct before, danger sense one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, next up. Is shocker number two. He's back. Ambush. Each player reveals their hand and discards a card with the same card name as the in the HQ. Now this time I will have to take a look here. Nope, because the web shooters and webs of darkness are not in there. I have Avenger in training, reluctant celebrity, and recon drone connection. All good. All good. All right. First off, we're going to play uh, Whip Shooters, Rescue a Bystander. And we rescue a paramedic. Nobody has wounds. Then I look at the top card. If it costs two or less, I draw it. Of course it is. Then I lay down my recruit. Then let's go ahead and then play new recruits. I return this stack to the card and draw a card. I'll return it here once I finish this turn. I don't have a range yet. One, two, three, four attack. Not enough to hit him, unfortunately. Three recruit. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this guy here. Wall crawl, danger sits one if I play attack before it. If it show if the danger sense showed a bystander, which would be great. Four, five, six. Right. Scheme twist. Nobody in the bank, but play the next card, and it's the cops. Again. I feel like I'm stuck in a time loop. Where's Dr. Strange when you need him? Alright. There's the two recruit here. Alright. I'm not going to be able to draw any cards, so I'm going to play Reluctant Hero first. Then followed up with the uh, Avenger of Training, Danger Sense 1, it's a Master Strike. If it's a, if this revealed villain, I may fight it. Well, I'm not going to. Um, Trooper, Danger Sense 3. Okay. Now I'm able to keep that Master Strike from happening. I got one attacker here. So let's go ahead and put the... Um, let's go ahead and put the Power Turbine, then the Bystander, then the Master Strike. So I have one, two, four, six attack. 
Let's go ahead and get Mr. Happy Guy out of there. And then, um, with two recruit, let's go ahead and get uh, conflicted loyalties. If you read the ever read the Civil War story arc, you would understand why. Um, Tony Stark. Spoiler alert, in case you're never read it, uh, he convinces uh, Peter Parker to reveal his true identity, and he's but he's also conflicted because of the fact that you have Cap, and if you can, Cap probably can't see very well, but in the background here, he's swinging in action. And there's uh, Captain America and Iron Man fighting against one another. All right. Next up, yeah, Turbine. Alright, Ambush captures a bystander. And it is the legendary game designer. Uh, let's see, then moves to the rooftops. And because of the scheme, he is a six. Alright. Well, let's see here. We got some recruit. There's three recruit. We got a trooper. Let's go ahead and investigate. Gumshoe revolver. Investigate for a card that costs two or less. Which means I look at the top two cards. I think I'm probably want more attack than recruit. So I'm going to put this card on the bottom. Then danger sense one. Hey, get this, guys. If this revealed a re bystander, rescue it. Excellent. I will. Then, when I rescue this bystander, re I can do t either say recruit or attack. Investigate for a card with that icon. Let's see here. I have enough to hit. I definitely have enough to hit the guy in the bank. So, why don't I do the recruit instead? So these are the last two cards. I look, both are recruit. I put one back. I hit this guy. And then I get new recruit. Then with my two recruit, let's go ahead and get some more gumshoe revolver going. And advanced target system. Advanced targeting system. Oh, there's uh, Peter Parker Homecoming's rare. Wall crawl. Coordinate. So coordinate means if it's in my hand, it's not my turn. But if I feel the need to, I can easily give it to the other player. And that allows them to do the effect, which is Danger Sense 4. Um, and if revealed a scheme twist, you may shuffle the villain deck. Either way. And then if I coordinate that, I draw a card from my hand. Four, five, six. All right. Next up, Master Strike. So that's Striker. Striker one. So first of all, let me update these real quick. And then um, put a wound on under each hero in the HQ. And I did add the grievous wounds because I did not. I want to make this a little challenging. All right, there we go. Lay down the grays. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and play this one first. Because I don't have a... There's only one villain. Then I'm going to play this. Reveal the top card of my deck. Since I played attack before it. It has recruit and attack. Reveal the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. 
So I have one, two, three, four, five attack. Not enough to hit anything, but I do have four recruit. So I will go ahead and spend two recruit for this guy. The rune goes on the right hand side. And let's go ahead and get this for two as well and not give another wound. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Moving right along. It's the cops. Let's do some investigating, shall we? Investigate for a card that costs two or less. One, two, okay. I'm going to tuck the trooper down below. Then let's go ahead and reveal the top card of my deck if it costs two or less. Draw it. Then I'm going to play Web Shooters, Rescue a Bystander. It's an aspiring hero, which means I gain a sidekick. Look at the top card, cost two or less, draw it. Play Web of Darkness. And then Wall Crawl, I get to Danger Sense. It is a Scheme Twist coming up. But hey, you know what, that's great because guess what? There is no buddy in the bank. So let's go ahead and get the cop. I'll gain a new recruit. Four recruit. Um, let's go ahead and wall crawl this guy for two. And we'll get this for two as well. Oh, there's the amazing Spider Man rare. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well, we know what happens next, right? Scheme Twist. Nobody in the bank, but we gotta play the next card of the villain deck, and it is the cops again. All righty. Let's do some Danger Sense. Danger Sense four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go ahead and put the bystanders on top, the razor talons there, and the master strike there. So only one attack. Danger sets one. I'm not, uh, not going to bother. Uh, actually, I didn't play the instinct at all. So. And then, let's see. Did not draw any cards. Two, four, five, six attack. Um, again, it's not enough to hit anybody but the cops. That's okay. Get a new recruit. And then with two recruit, um, let's go ahead and get this because of the, so I can try to get more for that card here. I reveal the top three cards on my deck, put any that cost two or less into my hand. You know, as I'm trying not to use, try to use those wounds, but the thing is, is that I'm going to have to do soon. Otherwise, those wounds are going to double up. And, okay, he's getting stronger. All right. Let's, first of all, let's do some investigating. For a card that costs two or less, I need the attack.
New recruit, draw a card. Wolf Crawl, no instinct, played. Two, three, four, five, six attack. Three recruit. Um, let's go ahead and get this for three, this for two. This side gets the wound. Two, three. I do love Danger Sense because it helps you strategize a bit. Four, five, six. All right. Next up is Pepper Potts. Oh, he's gotten stronger. Where's that nine? Give me a nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. All right. First of all, let's see here. Two recruit goes there. A trooper. Danger sense three. One. Two. Three. Two villains and the master strike. We'll put the master strike on the bottom again. Then we'll go ahead and play this one next. Play that. Danger sets one. We know it's a villain. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nuts. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and continue try to narrow it down. Sooner or later I'm going to run out of danger sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the cops are back. You think they get the hint? Let's go ahead and do some more investigating for a card that costs two or less. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Then I'm going to play it. Rescue a bystander is Happy Hogan. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a Master Strike, it is not. <laughs> oh, man. Then, um, there's a screen twist. I could shuffle the villain deck. Nope, not happening. Oh, wrong side. If a card costs two or less, draw it. There we go. Danger Sense is a villain, not a bystander. Okay, a sidekick. Three, four, five, six, seven attack. Well, let's go ahead and attack these guys. Guess new recruit. And then with two recruit, um, let's go ahead and do some more um, gun shoe revolver. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we get the Razor Talents, Striker. So this goes up to three. Two, 
because there's one master strike. My one lonely recruit. No instinct, no attack, two, four, five, six, seven attack, and one recruit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, what is the next hero I gain this turn gets wall crawl? Well, I won't be able to recruit anything or attack anything, so this is a no go. Yes, I could attack that, but I want to be able to use its effect. Six. have second master strike so again put a wound from the wound stack below each of these Let's see here. Yep. So this now goes up to a 10. Just had it. This one goes up to a 4. Alright. There's two recruit there. Let's go ahead and play a sidekick and draw two cards. First card. Come shoe revolver. Second card is the advanced targeting system. Let's go and play that next. Or actually, no, wait. Let's do gum show revolver first. That'll allow me to bear my chances, hopefully. Draw look at the top two cards for a card that costs two or less. Well, I'll take an agent. And tuck that one down below. Alright, now I'll play uh, targeting advanced, uh, tar advanced targeting system, and it does cost two or less, so I will draw it. Um, no other instinct played prior to this, but I will play this to Danger Sense 1. It is a scheme twist. Darn it. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 attack. Well, I can at least hit this guy. And you should be a 10. So let fight. Next hero I gain, uh, gain this turn gets a wall crawl. So with two recruit. Um, let's go ahead and give this one wall crawl since it doesn't already and blood force trauma goes to the other side all right good thing is all these scheme twists are failing downside is is these decks are getting bulkier by the minute due to the lack of ko's all right scheme twist play the next card of the villain deck Bystander. Okay, seriously, this turbine jet is super powerful. It's now stronger than the mastermind. All right, first of all, let's look at the top three cards. One, two, need a shuffle. Three. Alright. And they all cost two or less. So I will draw them. So next up, let's go ahead and play a new recruit. Draw a card. It is an agent. Then let's go ahead and do Danger Sense 4. One. Two, three, 
four. All right, let's go ahead and put the bystanders on the bottom of the high-tech helmet. And then the reason why is because it has Danger Sense 3, and it won't get no extra attack from any of these anyways. But it'll make it easy to hit, plus it's got Striker. All right. So there was... Wait a minute. Was that three? I need... Yeah, that's four. Yep. So, only one villain. Let's see here. Okay, sidekick. And... No extra attack. Can't attack anything this turn. <sighs> but I can recruit. One, two, three, four, five, six recruit. Alright, um... Let's go ahead, first of all, get this for wall crawl. For two, this goes over here. Then... For four recruit. And then for six recruit. The other side is hating life right now. Look at all those wounds I just gave him. Or I gave myself, really. There is a card that lets you KO wounds. Alrighty. And we got the helmet, high tech helmet. Striker, fight. Oh, fight is Danger Sense 3. Wow. Still, he is a five. Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and play new recruits, draw a card, agent. We'll play advanced targeting system. Hey, remember that bystander, that great one, you know, the paramedic one? I would have really, really wish it would come back. <laughs> Real the top card. All right, yes, I will draw it, and then I will play it. Rescue a bystander. It's Howard Stark. When you recruit this, when you rescue this bystander, reveal the top four cards of your deck and draw each of them that have a tech or range. Okay, so one... Two, three, oh, four. Well, I'll put them back in a order. That was ugly. And then top card of my deck cost your last draw. It. I'll draw those two wounds that I'll draw the two next cards. I may go ahead and, well, you know what? It's the gift that keeps on giving. The spreading narrow virus is going over there. Um, all right. Hey, get to your spot. Three attack does nothing. I have three recruit. And I will go ahead and clear up the city a bit. Or clear up the HQ. There we go. Alright. Yeah, when all these wounds start happening, that's when it's probably going to be serious danger problem. Four, five, six. But the good news is I'm keeping the bank empty. And this guy just captured Howard the Duck. Who is also a playable character in this game. Not this game specifically, but in Legendary. Alright. Let's do some wall crawling. I mean, danger sensing. One. Two. 
three. All right, we'll put the bystander up top, the cop there, and the uh, master strike on the bottom. But it only gets me one attack. Since I play a tech before that, I reveal the top card, cost two or less, I draw it. Then I'll play that. Then I play this, I get plus one for each extra card I drew this turn. I drew one. So now this is a three. So I got one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine attack. Well, at least I can f hit this guy, even though the danger sense ain't gonna really go do much. Because the danger sense, as we all know, one, two, Three. Put that back the way I want it. <laughs> All right. Then, however, the duck. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top four cards of the uh, bystander deck, and then you may rescue a special bystander among them. Put the rest back on the bottom. Okay. So top. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I have the choice of the uh, rocket test pilot or the forklift driver. Uh, when I rescue the forklift driver, I may move. Um, I could put a number of heroes onto the bottom of the hero deck. I don't think I need to do that, so. Let's go ahead and uh, hyperspeed for recruit. These go back on the and these go to the bottom. Thanks for your help, Howard. So top three cards, discarding them. And if they have recruit, I get more recruit. One, two, three. Nope, none of them. No recruit for me. Alright, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Moving on to the next, and of course, Alligator Trapper. This now becomes a 12. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to draw cards to see if I can draw any more wounds out. So I'm going to play the Psychic, draw two cards. One, two. I'll do the same for the new recruit. Glad I did that. That's so. I lose the sidekick and the new recruits. I don't recruit anything, but I will KO four wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next up, the cops. Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and play the Amazing Spider-Man. Look at the top three cards. They cost two or less. I draw them. And just to let you know, wounds cost zero. So I draw all three. Which is great if I play an instinct before this. So let me go ahead and put that as a note. Then I do need to draw an instinct, so let's go ahead and then play a sidekick. I'm going to give the spreading nanovirus. No, I'm not going to, just in case. Draw two cards. One, 
two. Okay. All right. So that now that's up to five possible extra attack. All right. Then we'll go ahead and play uh, Astonishing Strength. Reveal the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. So that's six. Um, tech's not going to really do anything this turn. But I will go ahead and do some danger sensing here. Uh, hey, you're not a recruit. Danger sense. Three, one, two. Whoa, Nelly. Three. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'll put the scheme twist up top, followed up by the cops, and then a master strike. So that is, get some easy one. Well, if anything, you know what? I think I'm going to KO these wounds as well. Just so I can get rid of them. But, man, the one time I really wanted instinct, because then that would have given me enough attack to actually hit the vulture. But again, without the deck thinning really happening in this game. Oh, a scheme twist. Yeah, guess what? We already know what's happening next. The cops. More cops. Somebody called the cops. What the heck? That's okay, because Spidey's on the case with Gumshoe Revolver. Best game for a card that costs two or less. We're going to do the trooper. Tuck the agent. We'll do it again. Top two cards. Ooh. We'll go take the extra attack. Not play it yet. Do it one more time, Spidey. One, two. Okay, great. Um, let's go ahead and then we'll take this card. Then play it. Reveal the top card. Of course it costs two or less. So I'm going to draw it. Then. Let's go ahead and play this. Followed up with a Danger Sense 1. If I remember right. Nope. It's a Master Strike. 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 attack. Let's hit that Mastermind. Shall we? So just to let you know, I'm not doing the final blow. So first off is the fight. You get 5 plus recruit usable only to recruit tech heroes. Okay. And then, um, banker to recruit. Okay, so first of all, let's use the uh, tech, the med air heist. So two wall crawl. Ooh. Friendly neighborhood. Wall crawl. Coordinate. Uh, you get plus three attack usable against the mastermind or villains on the rooftops or streets. I think I'm going to take this. It's attack. I'm taking it. All right. And then with the banker, I'll take the two recruit for this. All right. And I had no other recruit. So there we go. Hey, how about that? I was able to get three heroes and didn't have to pay a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to remember this guy has coordinate. I have a coordinate on this side, so I need to remember that. And Master Strike, we knew it was going to happen. So, we're going to go ahead and 
do some more wounds here. But if you're looking, if you've ever played Legendary, you're looking for a fast pace, quick and easy game. Spideys are a way to go because they only cost two or less. <laughs> you know. All right, and then he goes up to an eleven. He goes to a thirteen. I need to get a D twenty. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Play Astonishing Strength. Top card, of course, two or less, draw it. Then, let's go ahead and Dangerous Sense 4. 1. Oh, look at that. Nermash Strike 2. Three, four, there's two villains. Let's go ahead and put the bystander up top there, the two by, uh, villains underneath him, and then the master strike below. So this is a two. I'm seriously thinking about coordinating this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five attack. This would give me. It would not get enough. It would not be enough to hit anything. So we'll play this. The cross of webbing. You may KO this wound to gain another room, another wound. No, thank you. Um, but I will go ahead and attack the cops in the bank and get a new recruit. And with two recruit. Um, I really need to do the draw stuff, so I will go ahead and take out the, get great responsibility for two, Fighting Flash goes to the other guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a bystander. So now the cop is a four. All right. Let's see here. I get. Three attack usable gets a mastermind or villains on the rooftop or streets. So I'm just going to put a counter right here for three. All right. And then Danger says one. If it's a bystander, it is not. So let's go ahead and give this a three. And the same thing will go with this is a three. So three, six, seven. Darn it! I needed one more attack. <laughs> um let's get gumshoe revolver for two recruit. And the fatal blow goes to the other guy. I'm just checking. No, I didn't think I did. All right. Let me straighten up these stacks. Anybody that has OCD is probably like, ah, straighten it up, please. <laughs> All right. Yeah, see what happens when you don't have KOs. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I could have fought the cops, huh? Darn it. Oh, well. Too late now. Didn't think about that till now. I was just looking at the uh, other bad guys. Alright, here comes the Razor Talons. Striker, and they are a five. Alright, that's a wound there. To recruit. Okay, sidekick. Danger Sense 1 is a villain. So that is a 3. And I may fight it if I want to. But I don't think I will. Um, 3, 4, 5 attack. Let's hit the cops. Or actually... Actually no, we will hit the Razor Talons instead. For 5. And fight... Hero of this turn gains wall crawl, and I choose this one here. Hey, you go in the victory pile. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's the one that helps with the wounds. You may KO wound from your hand or discard pile. Yeah, that, that definitely would definitely help. First of all, oh, that's still a four. Rescue a bystander. All right, damage control. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Uh, put any that cost two or less into your hand. Oh, there we go. And then, thanks to, and then with the card effect, reveal the top card, cost two or less, draw it. Looks like this is going to be a recruiting. Maybe. Uh, first of all, reveal the top card, cost two or less, draw it. Well, two attack does nothing. I do have recruit. I have five recruit. Um, let's go ahead and get this for two. And we'll get this for four. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We are almost an hour into this video. Thank you for watching. And Tinkerer. He has no uh, so, uh, no uh, Master Striker ability, so that's a good thing. Uh, you get plus one. If you fight him, you get plus one uh, recruit for each tech hero in HQ. Which right now there are two. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and do some danger sensing. Three. One. Two. Oh boy. Three. Yeah, I'm going to put the cop. And then the scheme twist on the bottom with the master strike in between. Alright. That's a one. Then, astonishing strength, cost, cost two or less, draw it. So nice, let's do it twice. All right. 
Let's play that next. Reveal it. Play Detect before it. So reveal the top card. Cost two or less draw it. I will. Just so I can get rid of the wound. Gain a sidekick. And then I have one, two, three, four attack. Let's go ahead and hit the cops. Gain a new recruit. Then I got four recruit. Let's go ahead and do some rescue a bystander effect here. And we'll get this as well for two. All right. All right. And the cops. Alright, first of all, let's play some Gun Shoe Revolver. Look at the top two cards to investigate for. Card that costs two or less. I will take the Webs of Darkness. Thank you. Tuck the Trooper. Then, Webs of Darkness. Webs of Darkness. This gives me more attack. And then, No Danger Sense. Two Recruit. Blinding Flash, Healing, you may discard a card and have another player discard a card to KO this wound. Is there a card they can discard? Yeah, they have a, they can actually uh, discard the Fatal Blow, so I will discard that card, discard the Recruit, and this is gone. Three, four, five, six Recruit. I mean, attack. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be the last game for the night. Uh, I'll fight him uh, because the fact that he gives me plus one recruit for each tech hero, which there is just that one. And I dropped the tinkerer. I don't think he appreciated that. I'll buy him a cheeseburger later. Uh, with the two recruit. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get. Um, I have a feeling the it's going to stack up on me soon. Yeah, it causes the guys that are adjacent to one another to go down a, an attack point. All right, moving over. Master Strike number four. Again, more wounds. You wound me, good sir. And he goes up to a 12. This one goes up to 14. Look how powerful this one is. My goodness. Alright, I'm going to play that instead. We have the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. One, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and attack the cops. Get another new recruit. And then with three recruit, um, you know what? I think I am just, yeah, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this one. Question is, how many more wounds am I going to have by the end of this game? Four, five, six. Right, scheme twist. 
Nothing happens. Nothing's happened to this scheme twist at all. Master Strike. That's the last one, thankfully. So now he is at full strength of 13. Oh, that's right. I need another D20. This goes up to 15. More wounds. Hey, the, if anything, the wound stack's almost empty. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's do some investigation, shall we? Investigate for a card that costs two or less. Draw it. Alright. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Do it again. Plus two or less. Alright, hang on a second. Gotta look at my hand. I have an instinct. Yep. I have another gumshoe revolver, so I'll go ahead and take this one. Do the gumshoe revolver one more time. Top two cards. Of course, I'm going to take the Peter Parker, Avenger in Training. And let's go ahead and play that one first. Then we're going to play Game Sidekick. And because I play Instinct before it, it goes on top. Then let's go ahead and play uh, Investigate for the Bystander stack for a Bystander and Rescue It. Well, gee, I wonder which one I'm going for. Then let's go ahead and play Advanced Targeting System, it costs two or less draw it, yep. And then I draw two cards, one, two, Web Shooters, Rescue a Bystander. Okay, sorry if it's on paper, what it is, it's the Board Gamer. When you rescue this bystander, each player with the, mo uh, with the most victory points draws a card. Okay, so I have, including this card. Now I gotta count up the victory points. Even though again, this is just for fun. But now I gotta count it up. So one. Oh wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, where's that board gamer? Cause that was going to this side. All right, one, two, four, five, 11, 14, 15, 18, 21, 25, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, so 32 on the left. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, yeah, so left hand side is gain to draw another card. They draw a wound. How pathetic is that? Alright, and then the next part here after the rescue of the bystander, top card, cost your less, I draw it. Uh, let's see here. I did play tech, so Danger Sense 1. 
And, hey, it's a bystander, so I get to rescue it. And then, no Jason Billens whatsoever. Then, I get used three against the Mastermind or that on the rooftops. So, again, I'm just doing this. So, total of, and that's one recruit. So, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attack. Plus the 3. Oh boy. I can get some bystanders. And let's see. You know what? That villain deck is getting awfully thin. Let's go for the mastermind instead. Uh, that's 3 minus that. So that's 10. No problem. I have that. Again, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, plus the three from that to use against him. His tactic, fight danger sense two. And if the rooftops are empty, a villain you revealed enters the rooftops. Well, I get, I get two, but guess what? Um, I get two attack, hey, go help me out. But I get to choose this. Uh, the rooftops are still full, so I'm kind of glad I did that. So I'll put Shocker on top and the Turbine on the bottom. And that's go in this turn. All right, I just need him two more times. Because again, I'm just, I'm not doing the final blow. This is strictly for tactics only. I'm going tactic hunting. <laughs> okay, some of you are probably shaking your head after that one, but. Okay, moving on to the next. Shocker. And guess what? Such a shocker. I already knew he was coming. Uh, Striker, he is an 8. Alright. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do some Danger Sensing. Danger Sense 3. 1. 2. Three. Okay, there's two villains. And let's go ahead and put the scheme twist up top because of the fact that nobody's there in the bank at all. <coughs> Get some a drink. Alright, play that. Then, reveal the top three cards on my deck. If they cost two or less, I draw them. And I do. Oh, and I got that one card. So I need to... So, I drew three cards. Okay, that's Danger Sense 4. See what I mean? That's the villain deck. So, yeah, we'll put the scheme twist up top and we'll put the turbines on the bottom now. So that is three. You recruit. Uh, let's see. Blunt, you may spend five attack. If I do, I KO this wound. Downside is I did not play another instinct. Oh man, I can't get this combo to work. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Okay. 
let's see here. Let's go ahead and I can spin the attack right now and just get rid of Blunt Force Trauma. That's going to be one less wound I have to worry about. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get rid of the wound. Let's spin the five attack. And we'll KO the wound. Two, three, four, five. I guess I could uh, spend two recruit, but I'm not going to. It is time to really, really, really get down to the nitty degree here. We have two more tactics to go. I want to hit this guy. If you're watching this late at night, I'm pretty sure you won't go to bed. Skinny twist, nothing happens except for another villain card enters into the fray. How many skin twists was that? Is that all eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one more left. Out of all the twists, none of them have done its job. Man. If you ask me, I think, uh, I think he's having some problems here. Rescue by Sander. Oh, I get to draw a card. Okay, draw a card as a trooper. And then... Reveal a tough card. If it costs two or less, draw it. I do. I most certainly do. And... Since I played attack before this one, Danger Sense. Yep, there's a villain. Reveal a, t uh, reveal a top card. Costs two or less. Yep, I draw it. So I have three, four, five, six, seven attack. Or I can finally get rid of these wounds. But at the same time. Yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of the wounds just in case I'm able to reshuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have the coordinate card right here. So I need to keep... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. All those wounds. This is the most the city has ever been filled. Striker. So he's a nine. Okay, look at all that instinct. Now, if I'm able to get that one card, that one rare for Spidey, that would be great. Draw two cards. One. Two. Play New Recruit. Draw a card. Press of webbing. Kill this one to get another wound. Um... Alright, hang on a second. Um, let's go ahead and play this. Follow it up with that. Hang on. So far I've driven, I've done three cards. I'm just trying to keep track. Okay, Psychic, I pick up top. Then, I'm going to do that again. Then, I play this guy. Reveal the top card. If it costs two or less, draw it. There you go. That's number four. Then, I draw two more cards. That's going to make it six. One, two. Then I'm going to draw two more. That's going to make it eight. Then 
One. Come on, come on, come on. Two. Okay. Danger Sense three. One, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and put Tinkerer there and the power turbine on the bottom. Put the radiation scientist there in between, so that's two. Then I played this. Reveal the top card, it costs two or less, draw it. Yep, okay, now I am at nine. I'm running out of dice. Shashing Strength. Sidekick. Draw two more cards. Now I'm at 11. Come on, come on. Okay, I got a couple more chances here. Sorry for uh, hitting the camera car, uh, thing there. Top card. Cost two or less. Draw it. Okay. That's 12. Rescue a bystander. Aspiring hero. Gain a sidekick. Reel the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. Okay. Alright. That's 13. Okay. Now we're going to play. Ah. Another new recruit. Let's hope this is it. No, but it's going to help. Just not the way I hope. Man. All that for, oh, man. I don't know about you, but talk about major letdown. Um, let's see here. One. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen attack. I have 13 attack, and I can coordinate against the ma uh, Mastermind Rooftops or Streets, and he should be at a, oh. let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, he should be at a 15. Well, if anything... Let me see what the other side can do. You know what? I'm going to coordinate this and draw a card. Oh, I'm glad I did because I know what I'm doing next turn. Okay. I can clear up the city. Especially since I'm not going to have time for the next turn to hit anything. So, let's go ahead and hit this guy because he's on the streets. Brings him, the three attack gives him down to um, 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, exactly. We'll finally hit him. So the turbine, no fight effect. Game designer, I get to um, get a shard. And then, oh, news reporter. What if this is the card I've been needing? Nope, it's an our agent. And then standard, alligator trapper. Nope, they're, the sewers are full. Pepper pots, when you rescue this bystander, you get plus one if the bank is empty and the rooftops are empty. Neither are empty. Okay, and with that, I'm just getting another sidekick. I'm not going to bother recruiting any more from the HQ at all. And this gets to this side. Watch, the next set of cards is going to have that one card I've been wanting to get all game long. You know it. But, you know, I thought about putting in, a, putting in well, look at that. All those sidekicks. I seriously did think about putting something that was going to give me some KO power. But. 
I chose not to. Let's see. Nope, it wasn't in this one either. But he has a coordinate. Alright, here comes the tinkerer. But I think I'm going to just KO these wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Radiation scientist. That's going to make Tinkerer a five. Let's see. Let's do some danger sensing. One, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and put the turbines again on the bottom. Let's put the hybrid alien tack up top because it gives me a chance to finally KO something. So two attack. Then play that, reveal the top card, cost two or less, draw it. And then danger sense four. If this revealed any scheme twist, I may shuffle the villain deck. Four. Top four cards. Hey, look at that. So I get two attack. Now I get to shuffle the villain deck. Which isn't very much. Look at this, guys. This is all that's left of the villain deck. I think I just need him one more time. Let's see here. I think he just has the one tactic left. No, two tactics. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Two, four, five, six, seven attack. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. There's no tech in there. But let's go ahead and get the cops out of there. And get a new recruit. And with the two recruit, one, two, I get a psychic. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we get fortune teller. I wonder if she saw this coming. All right. Well, look at all that tech and everything, okay? First of all, <clears throat> let's do some gun and shoe revolvering. Top two cards. One, two. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to play it. Top two cards. Um, I'll take this one. Put it back. Do it again. Top two cards. Hmm. Toughy. Oh, I I, I'll, I'll go ahead and get this one. Or actually, no, I'll get this one. Then. Look at all that gumshoe revolver. One. Two. I'm going to take this one. Because I want the attack. Let's see here. Do I have any more wounds? Or did I finally get rid of them? Alright, I got rid of all of them. Good. So I will choose, this is a dual sided card, so I gotta choose which one I rescue a bystander. Banker! I get two recruit used under the bank only. Well, looks like I get this guy. And the wound goes over here. Alright, and then. Whip shooters rescue a bystander. Duck show! Alright, so when you rescue this bystander, reveal the top card of your deck. Uh, uh, of each player's deck 
judge one of those to be the best in show. Right hand side is this guy. Left hand side is this guy. Let me see here. Oh. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna choose my I'm gonna choose that side. Alright, and then let's go ahead and play this. Gain a sidekick. Play that. Danger Sense 1 it is a villain. I'm not gonna fight it this turn. But it's a darkness. So three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen exact. Just what I needed. Let's hit him. Put two winged assault wounds from under the HQ into each other player's discard pile. Well. Oh. Well, two wounds, right? There you go. Oh, wrong pile. I keep doing that. All right. Um, and no recruiting. So, okay, guys. I just need him one more time. Can you believe I can do this? Can you say, Mikey, you got this, pal? Four, five, six. And we are an hour and a half into this. Thank you again for watching. Please feel free to share this. And, of course, we saw the turbines come in. Ambush. They capture a bystander. It's the lawyer. And they switch spots with this guy. Because they take over the rooftops. So now they are a six. Plus the striker. So one plus five is six. It equals eleven. Yay, yay, yikes. Okay, guys, I just need 13. And guess what? I have an instinct, and I finally got this. I can finally pull it off. But first off, let's go ahead and play the Amazing Spider-Man. Look at the top three cards. And I need to shuffle my deck. Alright, top three cards. All three that cost two or less, I draw them, and I do. So that is going to be, I'm going to just grab me a uh, D8 for the moment. That's three. One, two, three. I'm putting these to the side at the moment. Play that. Draw another card. That's going to give me four. Play this. Reel the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. I will draw it. Because guess what? It costs nothing. And it's going to help me out. Um, we'll play this next. Follow it up with this one. Reveal the top card. It costs two or less. Draw it. That is now six. Choose two uh, villains that are adjacent to one another. Okay, I'll choose these guys. So I'm probably not going to hit them, but I'm going to put a minus one there. Minus one here. Okay, sidekick, I'll put it up top. To recruit. Now I'm finally going to play... Reluctant Celebrity. I get plus one for each card, extra card I drew this turn. I drew six. So we'll make this an eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17 attack. And let's see, do I have that coordinate card here? I do not, but that's okay. Vulture, buddy old pal. You should have known better than to get your uh, turbines tingled in the webbing. Because, pal, I just took your last tactic. Which was Bird of Prey. Each other player discards a Spidey hero or discards two cards. Hey, I'll go ahead and discard this guy. Because there is nothing you can do because you are finished, pal. All right. How about that for a finish? Down to the wire, even. Um, let's see where that last scheme twist was. It was the last card. And look at all the villains. And one single bystander left. Oh my goodness. Alright, again, this is just for fun. But I'm actually, I'm wondering which side did better. Chances are it was probably going to be the left-hand side. But we'll find out here in a minute. Because the last we chat, they had 32. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I had the shard, I almost forgot. 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 29, 32, 33, 36, 39, 43, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. Okay, yep, left side still did better. Alright, guys, thank you for watching this uh, edition of the Legendary Cover Battles. The next uh, Legendary Cover Battle I'll be doing is again going to be Spider Man. And he will be going against Arcade, but it's actually the Rainmaster uh, from the Circus of Crime. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, this is GT Gill Gaming. Mikey Gill signing off, saying goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.